Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Uh, we did spend the night in the fishing hut. Nothing bad happened. Um, all I did all night was sleep and tend the fire. And I kept adding fuel to the fire all night. I would sleep for an hour or two, add fuel to the fire, sleep to an hour or two, fuel the fire, sleep for an hour or two, fuel the fire, sleep for an hour or two, fuel the fire, drink, eat, what have you, uh, to make sure we were good, because I didn't want this to, uh, to end here. Um, we did end up breaking the fishing hole just to pass some time, uh, as the sun was coming up. I wanted the sun to be up a little bit more, but I do want to try and get going on this day very early as, uh, something I've noticed is that the weather seems to be pretty okay and then changes. So I want to just, I just want to get that. I want to get as much time out as possible. I also realized that, like we've said before, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, we have actually had a hat and scarf on us this entire time. So all that time that we were suffering from frostbite affliction and all that time that we were suffering and worried about, yo, oh, are we going to get frostbite? Are we going to get this? Are we going to get that? I could have just put on the hat and the scarf that we had on us. I didn't realize that I had had extra clothes uh, till last night. I went to just go look at my condition from that wolf attack, and I had seen it. So, we had extra clothes. Uh, must not have dropped them off. I thought we dropped everything off at the, ba the barn. But I suppose we must have kept some stuff, and luckily so. Uh, we're just gonna grab these cattails real quick, and then, uh, grab this torch. I want to... I'm thinking about this. This is my thought process, right? This game gives us roads and paths and things to lead us to... Or games generally give us roads and paths and stuff to lead us to places we should be going. So with that being said... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's, um, that log would have been nice last night. With that being said, uh, why don't we just try following some of the roads? So we're gonna head over this way. I think there's a path over here. If not, I'm thinking we just follow the river. Right? We might as well just follow the river. I did end up breaking down almost every single torch that we had in our inventory last night. We're going to drink that um, tea that I warmed up to make sure we have enough warmth. So we did end up breaking down almost every single torch we had last night uh, into, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, sticks to fuel the fire. I was really worried that what was going to happen is a blizzard was going to come through and just tank the condition, or like tank the weather, and then we were going to be outside, and it was just going to tank the cold and we were just going to die. So I decided to just break down our torches and and go and, and just fuel the fire, keep the, fuel, the fire as hot as I could for as long as I could. Now... I had that fire, and I'm curious about this, right? So I had that fire at 109 degrees Fahrenheit almost all night. Lower falls. Okay. So I guess my curiosity is... I'm sure this game heats up the air. So could we have... Like, it's 109. How long is it going to take for that to... To dissipate, right? In this cold. Could we have just heated it up so much that we wouldn't have had to worry about heat for the rest of the night? I believe this way is back to the barn, which is why I want to head this way. 
Uh, I am taking a little bit of a different route. It also looks like there's a cave over there. Is it worth it to stop in the cave? Our temperature is dropping really fast. I think I'd rather just- oh! That's a building right there. Alright, so cave is a no-go, building is a yes-go. Uh, because we slept for only, like, an hour at a time last night, we didn't get as much condition. I don't believe we got as much condition as we could, would have if we had slept for, okay, like, eight hours at a time. And so, our condition is not max, but it's close enough, and I'm okay with that. What is this building? What is this? Is that the barn? Right there? No, that's not the barn, but that looks like another house. Let me grab a couple more sticks since I have zero. And we're right outside this house, so it's gonna be okay enough to... Or this building. I don't know if this is a house. I don't know if I'd call this a house. Alright, warming up. Accelerant. Storm Lantern. Big find. Big find for that Storm Lantern. More matches. Another big find. Hand cart. We don't need the scrap metal. So that's okay. Cedar firewood. That's good. Anything over here? Nothing on the hay. Clank. Nine minutes to break down for two wood. We'll take that. Another plank. Let's go. We're warming up in here, so we're okay. If we can get as much wood as possible. That's what we're looking for. An hour and a half for six wood. No, I, maybe. Maybe I want to do that. I don't know. There it is. I was like, there was something I could interact with there. Oh, and here's another bed. Do you have a bed there and a bed here? Oh, it looks like... Oh, I see. The haystack is a... Is a pillow. Got it. Not enough lantern oil for me to want to use that right now. So yeah, so we had this toque and this scarf on us all last night that we could have used. We also got well fed. I'm not sure if I said that before, but we did get well fed. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, we just stocked up on food and water and... And that was basically our night. We, I mean, nothing very exciting happened. I was recording just in case something happened. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that we had that footage. But everything seemed okay. Uh, we are gonna start a fire here. Tinder plug and stick. Actually, you know what? Sorry, I lied. Light sources. Torch. I'm tired of burning through all of my torches. Or all of my matches. So we're gonna start trying to light torches first. And use that to light the fire. Because that only requires one match for the life of the torch. All right, let's put this out. Oh, we also got rank two cooking last night, I believe. Let's check our log. Yeah, rank two cooking. Plus 10% calories from any cooked food item.
Now, this is going to heat us up. I think we're going to eat a little bit of food here. Um, let's eat these, this dog food. And then I think we're going to take a nap for an hour. We are going to add... One reclaimed wood. Uh, I think my bedroll is better. And then this way when we wake up, we can grab a couple of torches as well. The fire will still be going. As long as the weather doesn't change overnight or over the nap, we'll be alright. Grab a couple of torches. And I want to head to that other building. I think that's the homestead I was looking for in, like, episode one. And if so, that's huge for us. Because that... That bear... There's a bear over there. That homestead is a nice POI. Or the, you know, whatever it's called. You know, you would think if it's called Homestead Living, we'd be living in the Farmer's Homestead, but... I liked the idea of the barn more. I did think about that. We got revolver ammo in this car, if nothing else. More matches. More matches. Good. What I really need is clothes. That's what I need. That's what I want. Clothes. I mean, obviously clothes, a gun would be great. Now that we have that, uh, storm lantern. That storm lantern would be really cool. Uh, sorry. The... Lantern oil would be really cool. Now, we do still have the, um... Guts on us. We're gonna try and preserve this torch in case I need it later. Let's pull out our storm lantern. We do still have the guts on us because we're gonna need that to make a bow. If that's something that we're looking to do. Which is something I would very much like to do. Whetstone is good. Hopefully we can find a pry bar in here. Oh. Let's go. Flare shell. Or fl uh... Flare shell. Flare gun. Hopefully we can find a pry bar in here. Because, um, these, uh, these lockers are unlocked, which is nice, but I would like a pry bar. I think it's the last piece of, like, equipment that we're missing. We have knife, hack, knife, hatchet, hacksaw, and all we need is the pry bar. We need the heavy hammer, too, I suppose, if you want to count that. But... Now I know sometimes a mag lens can spawn here. Like, not here specifically, but in this place. So we're just being super vigilant, looking for that mag lens. And east dim is nice. Jerry can is nice. Another hacksaw. And I think it's bright enough in here. No, it's not. I lied. Oh, it's just a pipe. Okay.
coffee. That's good. Another storm lantern is good. This place is fantastic. This is exactly where I wanted to go on like day two. Because I knew this place was going to be so full of things. Let's refuel our storm lantern. Man, that flare gun was a nice find. We can drop that bedroll as well. Actually, you know what? Let's not refuel this, this storm lantern. Let's turn this storm lantern off. And let's use this one. That's some deer meat, that's good. Some water, that's leaving the farmhouse. Sports vest is good. Uh, what? Okay, that was interesting. Another sewing kit. This place is loaded! It's still, it's still there. What is, I don't, I don't know what that is. That's so interesting. I'm assuming you're not meant to look at your feet. I want to see if we can see it again. Yep, there it is. And now it's gone. Have you guys seen that before? I wonder if you've seen that before. We are so encumbered, just like I've always intended it to be. So while that flare gun is good, and I know it can, like, one-shot bears, I'm not good at it. And that's a big risk to take. Fight a bear with a flare gun. Try to go for the one shot. And if you fail, you get mauled. Alright, so I think that clears out basement and main floor. One thing that's really cool about the farmstead, in case nobody knows, not this one. Or the farmhouse is this. This counts as outdoors. So you can sleep out here or whatever you want to do out here. You can also use this as a nice, uh, sniping area. So if you want to, like, fight a bear. It's hoping for that mag lens. Alright, so I think that covers... Almost the entirety of the first floor. So now we're going to move on to the second floor and see what we find up there. Hopefully some more clothes.
That's two rooms down and two to go. We're gonna check all the clothing after we're done here. And see what we have. We might even spend a couple of minutes repairing some of the gear that we have. Yes. What a good find. What a good find. Yeah, we might spend a little bit of time repairing some of the clothes that we have. If we need to. Just so that we can have, with how the weather's been, I want to be able to have plenty of warmth. And so, unlike in Whiteout, where we just kept finding more and more clothes and we weren't using any of them and they just kind of sat in a pile on the floor. Um, we're not finding a lot of clothes right now because we haven't been able to venture out. And so I believe it's worth the investment to repair the clothes. So that mag lens is a nice find. Um, I don't know how much of a good find it is in Pleasant Valley with the weather being as sporadic as it is. But I just like the mag lens. I just think it's a nice item to have. So let's take a look at what we found as far as clothes. We didn't find a better hat or scarf. We didn't find a better jacket. Ski jacket. These sports vests aren't very good. We can definitely swap to that. We can wear the ski gloves instead. Those are good. Those are way better boots. Uh, I believe the sports socks are better than the wool socks. These are at 71% and at 0.03. These are at 53% at point. No, so the wool socks are definitely better. We only have one pair of pants, though. That's really all we got out of this whole thing. That's all we got. We also got the flare gun, five flare shells, a couple storm lanterns, a couple books, which is nice, an e stim, some food, which is good, a whetstone, another hacksaw, and some sewing kits. Unfortunately, no revolver, although we'll probably take one more look in the basement before we call it. Before we say, hey, we didn't actually find a hacksaw. God, I love the magnifying lens. Um, I think with that being said, let's get a fire going. Let's drink. And eat. Is there a difference between cooking this here and cooking it in here? It's a little faster to cook it in the pot. That's good to know. All right, so now we've got a two-hour fire. We've got plenty of stuff cooking on this stove. 40 minutes until that's ready. We are pretty set for now. Um, it is getting a little late in the day. Or I guess it's getting later in the day. 
what I want to do is I want to drop these, and I want to drop these, and I want to drop this, so all that stuff can start curing just a little bit. I was contemplating going back to the barn. Let's see what the weather's looking like. Oh, it's not too bad. It sounded like the wind was picking up. We got plenty of water cooking right now. Um... We got plenty of water cooking right now. We've got the food here. We're gonna spend some time breaking down some of my clothes that we just got that we're not gonna be using. And using that to repair some of the clothes that we are gonna be using. I would like to repair these socks. That's my number one priority, the socks. And then maybe the Mackinac jacket. And the ski jacket. Now we've got tons of water here. And we are going to use this to make a ton of coffee and tea for later. And we've got 15 minutes until that's melted. And then an hour until that's boiled. So that's plenty of time for us to repair some stuff. So our fire went out, boiling the water. We have... We have... Tried to repair everything that we can. I was only able to repair the socks. I kept failing even though it was a 70% chance on the ski jacket and the Mackinac jacket. I just wanted to top them off. Uh, get a couple extra degrees. Sometimes that just makes the difference. Um, so that's where we're at right now. We could probably harvest this. But we are exhausted right now. We're very encumbered. I'm looking forward to being able to sleep tonight. I thought about starting another fire, but opted not to. This is not a bedroom. That's not a bedroom either. This is a bedroom, though. We're gonna have our dinner of... Peanut butter. And we're gonna drink the water that we have since we have tons more downstairs. Let us turn off this lantern and holster. And we're gonna get a good nine hours of sleep. Now, ten hours of sleep. All right, we did sleep for two more hours, so we got 12 hours of rest. The sun is up. We are thirsty. So let's get that drink in. Um, and I think we're going to call the episode here for now. Uh, what I'm going to plan on doing is probably absolutely nothing. Uh, we're probably just going to leave this here. And next episode, we will be leaving from here to go to back to the barn, drop off. 
and move on from there. What is this? That's unsafe water. That's unsafe water. Why did it drop it in two? So we're going to move back to the barn drop off. We aren't as encumbered as we were last night because we got the sleep. We have the well rested uh, weight bonus. We do want to drop this all off. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys liked this episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you guys, damn, it's chilly. If you guys are looking forward to more of Homestead Living, then please hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.